Hello friends, today we'll learn about electric fish and how they generate electricity. Hmm, you're fishing in the pond. You know some fish generate electric fields and they're known as electric fish. You look surprised. Let me explain this to you. About 350 species of fish have specialized anatomical structures that generate and detect electrical signals. Scientists divide the electric fish into three categories. They are strongly electric fish. Strongly electric fish are electric fish whose electrical discharges are strong enough to be used in an attack or defense. Examples include electric eel, electric catfish, and electric rays. Careful, buddy. A single jolt could incapacitate a person long enough to cause her or him to drown even in shallow water, though human deaths from fish are rare. Weakly electric fish. Their electric discharges are too weak to stun prey, but are used for navigation, object detection, and communication with other fish. Examples are knife fishes and elephant nose. Fishes that can only sense electricity. Sharks have an organ known as ampullae, using which they can sense electric fields. Sharks can find a small fish buried in sand by weak electricity given off by the prey. Scientists call this electrolocation, passive electrolocation. Let's see how do they generate electricity. Some fish, like an electric eel, produce electricity from an organ in the tail called an electric organ. The electric organ contains the electrocytes, or the electrically excitable cells, which receive simultaneous command signals from the brain to fire. At the time of firing, the electrocytes are asymmetrically polarized and work as a series of connected batteries. The continuous firing of electrocytes results in the electric organ discharging, which are discharged in nearby water. In strongly electric fish, like the electric eel, the electric organ is very big and contains a lot of electrocytes. Hence, the discharge voltage sometimes can reach as high as 500 to 600 volts. In weakly electric fish, like the elephant nose fish, the discharge voltage is small, often less than a volt. The electric fishes not only produce electricity, but sense it with a very sensitive sensory organ embedded in the skin. This organ is called the electroreceptors. Electroreceptors are used to spot a light change in electric field caused by close objects. Electric fishes can thus electrically see objects in an environment where vision is less clear. This process is called active electrolocation. Some electric fishes are known to communicate with each other by electric signals. They use the combination of electrogeneric and electroceptive capabilities for this. Now you know a lot about the electric fish. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.